Hi, it's Tim. And it's Amy from Go With Less. Welcome to our channel. We are so glad to have you here. Today's video is a house sitting video. Very appropriate because we are on a cat sit in Brooklyn watching a delightful cat, one of the sweetest, most social cats that we've watched so far. Now, we're gonna be full-time international house sitters in not even 16 months, in less than 16 months. So we cover all kinds of house sitting topics on our channel uh, one time a month. And our last house sitting video was all about how to build a great profile as a house sitter to secure really good sits. Today we're gonna flip the coin and we're going to show how to make a great profile as a home owner because that is just as important to get the right sitters into your home. We are approached a lot by homeowners who aren't finding the right sitters on the platform and they're reaching out to us. And sometimes I see that they might not be finding the right sitters because their profile isn't selling their home and their situation appropriately. So we're going to be addressing that today. And there, it should never be an issue as a homeowner to find a great sitter for your house. And so uh, the, the profile is going to make a huge difference. And so there are a lot more house sitters than there are homeowners. And so what you put in your profile makes a big difference. It sure does. So if house sitting, if travel in general, budget travel, travel hacking, how to travel for free, if these sorts of things are of interest to you, please subscribe to our channel over here. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2018. We really need your help to do it. So please share and subscribe. We appreciate it so much. So let's get right into it. How to build a great homeowner profile. Please stay tuned. So when the two of us are on a house sit, I do a ton of the work that's there. So I'm the chief shot giver and I do other chores. So most of the, a lot of the chores fall to me. However, when it comes to finding sits and researching what's going on in the community, Amy is our go-to person for that. And so in this video, I'm not gonna have a whole ton to say. <laughs> Amy's gonna do most of the talking, which in our normal life, that is something that happens. But uh, in this particular video, she is going to do most of the speaking. That's right, when you see a travel hacking video, that's mostly gonna be Tim. House sitting is mostly me. We divide it up pretty nicely. So getting started, number one is put in great pictures. We see a lot of profiles that have unlimited pictures of the pets, and that's it. It's great to have pictures of your pets, and you certainly should have pictures of your pets, but just as important are pictures of where the house sitter is going to live. What does their room look like? So show a picture of their bed in their room. Show a picture of their kitchen. Show a picture of the yard, maybe the front of the house, the living space. Show the space of the home because they're going to be in your home. If you're familiar with Airbnb, that has a lot of great visuals in it. You want to take advantage of a lot of great visuals to make your home look really appealing and like this is a place where somebody would want to spend some time. Yeah, I think your pictures also tell a story. You know that old phrase, a picture tells a thousand words. Something else you'd want to be aware of, aware of if, you, if, you're, if you don't want your pets on your furniture and you show pictures of your pets on your <laughs> furniture, that's probably not a good idea. So you want to show situations where you know, that are representative of what you want to be putting out to the world. And also, we are very neat, so we want to be in house sits that are very neat. Sometimes we see pictures that are kind of untidy pictures, so if you are a, kind of a messy person and that's your vibe, that's okay because you can attract a kind of a messier house sitter. But if you're a neat person and you want to attract a neat house sitter, have your pictures look like your home is neat. So get the clutter out of the pictures, get the, like just kind of tidy up and make sure that that is like primo, so what you're showing is your best foot forward. So some of the sits that we've seen are simply, the profiles that we've seen, are simply a list of here are all the chores that you're going to do while you're at our house. While that is something you might, if you have this expectation that you're going to have chores that the, the house sitters are going to do, it's perfectly fine to have that in your profile. However, you do need to be considerate of the fact that at least the, the type of house sitting that we do, we are sitting for free. So there's no money exchanged between us and the homeowner. We're going to travel at our own expense to be there. So it, with this sort of exchange, when you just have a, a list of chores, that doesn't seem like it's quite equitable. So really, you got to sell it a little bit. What's in it for the house sitter to be there? Do you have lightning quick Wi-Fi? Do you have beautiful views and hiking trails? Are you walkable to all sorts of things and public transportation? Um, is your backyard like a peaceful oasis with a beautiful garden? So sell your home. Do you have a gourmet kitchen? Whatever. And you don't have to have like a luxury home in order to get good house sitters, but sell your home. So there are all kinds of features about your home. Maybe it's in a quiet location. Maybe 
it's a really friendly neighbors, whatever. So think about what's in there and why would somebody want to come stay in your home getting there on their own expense. And also you might want to sell the fact that your pets are really friendly or the fact yeah. that your pets are particularly easy to take care of. So anything about your, your situation that's going to be appealing to somebody is something you probably want to have in your profile. That's right. And as Tim mentioned, still list the chores and responsibilities so expectations are right out there up front. But don't make that only about here are your chores and we see that quite a bit as well. Now if you do have a situation where maybe you have a dog who gets up for a three mile run at five in the morning every day and has that expectation, definitely mention that in your profile. That wouldn't be appealing to us because we are later risers than 5 a.m. truth be told um, but for people who are early risers not only are they going to welcome that but they're gonna have you want to make sure that your house sitters are have their expectations met it's important in your profile if your pet can't be left for more than one two four hours that's a good thing to put in your profile because some people are digital nomads and do a lot of work at home or maybe they're homebodies that's great some people are out for longer days and so having an expectation of that put into your profile that's a really great idea. I'll give an example. We live in the Denver metro area and we live about a couple hours from the ski slopes if there's not a lot of traffic. Well we have a lot of homeowners reach out who talk about the ski opportunities and the slopes in their profile. Well if you don't want anyone leaving your pet for more than four or six hours you don't want to mention that you're near the ski slopes because the house sitters might be gone for 10 to 12 hours with that activity. So it would be really a letdown if they came for skiing because you advertised it and then they can't leave because they can't leave your pet for that long. It is important to clearly communicate your expectations so if you have chores that you want the house sitters or pet sitters to be doing you do want to make sure that that is in the profile. It'd also be a good idea to maybe help the, the house sitter or pet sitter understand how long it's going to take to accomplish these chores, at least how long it takes you to get these chores done in a given week. So, or a day. Or a day. So we actually had a, a sit this summer which had quite a bit of yard work. They had a brand new yard and so I wanted to and take, a pool. take care of all this stuff and so I was spending a couple of hours a day just dealing with the, the stuff that's in the yard. And so if you know up front that these things are going to be something that you're going to have in terms of expectations and you want to clearly delineate that for anybody who's going to be in your home. So it's important just to have clear communication throughout the process. Yes, and that would also be dog walks, for example. So we've had dogs that needed to be walked four times a day at fairly specific times. We've had dogs and cats that have both needed insulin injections that had very specific times they needed their insulin injections. We understand that completely. Having that sort of thing, you don't have to get into like every detail in the house sit, but things that would help a house sitter know the situation they're getting into, these aren't bad things. Nope. So uh, we're also going to suggest that you have a Skype call after you kind of narrow down to one or a few house sitters. So you're going to flush out some of these additional bits of information, but these are just things to, to think about as you're creating that profile. So you're getting the right applicants coming in. What's the transportation situation look like where you live? Is public transportation an option? Do sitters need a car? Are you going to lend them a car? So these are all things to consider of how is that house sitter getting around? When we're traveling around the world, we won't be traveling with our car. We're gonna be flying in and uh, without a car. So this is very important for us, is understanding how do we get around? Is it, we love taking the bus, we love taking the subway, we love walking. So are these options where you live or are you kind of out in a more rural area where it's really tough without a car? So consider, um, does, the, does your pet need to go to a dog park every day or to the vet for uh, shots or checkups or things like that throughout the trip? You might wanna consider leaving a car with a house sitter for those situations or just to have in general and that might be something nice to mention in your profile about the accessibility of where you live. Some things that might seem obvious uh, you might want to include that you might not consider. Things like if you're a non-smoker, if you're very tidy, if you have a housekeeper that comes on a weekly basis or a gardener that comes on a weekly basis or whatnot, you would want to have these things in your profile just to paint a picture of how, how your house is going to be in terms of cleanliness and things like this. You want to make this clear to pet sitters. So we've heard horror stories about sitters showing up and the situation is it's very dirty or things like this. And so if you make that clear up front that your situation isn't going to be like this, 
that's something you would want to do. And as a house sitter looking at a profile like that, that would be very appealing. So if they said we have a housekeeper come every two or four weeks or whatever, I know that that house is going to be pretty clean and I know I'm not going to be walking into a nightmare messy situation because that would kind of be a deal breaker for us. But you don't really know till you get there what it's like. You do know if they have a housekeeper that comes every two weeks, then it's probably pretty good. So again, don't skip over things that you might think are obvious. Kind of think of more extreme situations that house sitters might walk into and maybe put those in your profile as well. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. To get more of our videos, please subscribe at the button tips pointing up below. We have an aggressive goal to get to by the end of the year and we need your help to do it. Thank you in advance. If you have any comments, ask questions about house sitting. What other topics do you want to see about house sitting down below? We are taking suggestions, questions, suggestions, comments. These were the things that are most important to us. If you're a house sitter, what did we miss? What do you look for that you want to make sure are in the profile that a homeowner posts? And lastly, please consider sharing this on your social media. So how sitting is kind of a big thing because it's a, one of the best travel hacks in the universe, we think. So please uh, consider sharing that away. And we will see you back on Wednesday with another video. Thanks so much for watching.